Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm going to take this file from the Salty Yankee and turn it into an off-the-mat character or an off-the-mat project. Um, but before we do that, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. All right, so let's download this cute little thingy and bring it into Design Space. I already have it up. Um, let me, oops, I don't have Design Space open though. So let's open that up and we can get started. Um, all right, so that file, I will link it um, in the description, but all you have to do is go to thesaltyyankee.com and go to her Valentine's Day um, category, and it is this cute little one right here, the Kitty Friends one. Okay, let's go into Design Space and have fun with this file. All right, let's go to New Project, Upload, Here's the file. I already have it in. I'm gonna add it to Canvas. And so here's the deal with this file that makes it a little bit different. It ends in this little point right here. It's gonna be really hard to balance that and prop it up, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna add XOXO at the bottom and that will give me a firm, like a straight edge so that it can stand on, the, on a table propped up against the wall or stand on the floor propped up against the wall. And it makes it also easier to handle for everyone to, to do, you know, to use it as a photo prop. So let's go to text and um, Let's pick a font. I'm gonna to go to system. This is one that I've uploaded. I'm gonna try Lemon Crush. Um, no, Lemon Crush isn't good. Let's see, what's another one that I've uploaded? Um, that would work really well. That's a bubbly font. Um, let's see if I have a good one over here. I feel like I've got some cute ones that I just, right now I'm blinking. Oh, I know, hold on, give me one second. There's a cute one, Pink Vibes, all right. So Pink Vibes is from Creative Fabrica. And, oops, here we go. And you can try that out, here it is. Um, so it's cutesy, right? I'm gonna do XOXO and make it really big. And I think that's gonna help us balance out everything, okay? Now, um, we can do, let's ungroup it. And I'm gonna grab the XOXO and I'm gonna do an offset. Let's do an offset of 0 0.075. I don't like them too, too thick. And let's see what that looks like. And this is nice because each individual letter is still, um, is, is still its own piece so that we can make this big and, and not worry about not having the right size paper for it. So we've, oops. Um, you know what, but I do, Let's grab this. I, I didn't hit apply, so let's go back to 0 0.075 and tab so that it updates it. And now it doesn't want to update. <laughs> so let's do that one more time and see if it works. All right, 0 0.075. All right, if that's not working, let me move the dial. Okay, that's working. I'm gonna do it at 0 0.097. I'm gonna just apply. <laughs> okay, this offset, I'm gonna change it to, I want it to be this silver holographic, silver glitter holographic paper that I have. So I'm gonna do that. Then we're going to do one more offset. This offset, I'm gonna um, do an offset and let's do 0 0.10. And this one, I want it to connect. So this is connecting everything. I'm gonna hit apply. And that one's gonna be, that one's gonna remain black. I'm gonna grab this, it's green, it's highlighted so I know it's selected. And I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. And I'm gonna grab the offset of the image. 
and hit control and grab that one. And then I'm gonna go to combine and weld. That's gonna give me the solid black background, okay? And I'm gonna arrange and send it to the back so that now I can see it again. Okay, so we've got all our pieces. Let's make this, um, let's make this 18 inches. So we're gonna make it 18 inches wide and let's see how, how big it makes everything. So it's gonna be 18 inches by 16 inches and it's gonna look really, really cute, right? <laughs> Let's grab the XOXO and I'm gonna change this to red. I'm gonna do that in red. Um, I think all the colors are good. Let's now ungroup everything. We know that each individual letter, let's look at these, uh, three inches by four inches, everything's gonna cut because the whole overall piece is 18 inches by 16 inches, right? Which means that probably, no, which means definitely, definitively, that the black background is the only piece that is gonna be too big for the Cricut to cut. And that's gonna make it off the mat because we're gonna have to slice it up and then we're, um, we're then gonna piece it all back together like a puzzle. Everything else on here will be seamless because everything else will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So, um, like this one, right? This is only three inches by four inches. So I'm just gonna move all this. This looks like it's too big, but what we're gonna do with this is we, I'm gonna move it so that this, I'm going to take a square and we're gonna just slice it one letter at a time. So, oh, hold on, that's not gonna fit, hold on. These letters are too close. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna contour. So I'm gonna contour and I wanna separate each letter. So there are four letters, which means I need four copies of this image. So we're gonna to go to duplicate and get four, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna contour and we're gonna hide all and it's gonna leave us the X. And actually because these are duplicate, hold on, I made this way more complicated, this X we're gonna duplicate it. There are our two X's, okay? This one, we're gonna to go to contour. Sometimes my head um, is not totally functioning. We're gonna get rid of this X, we're gonna, we want this O, okay? There's our O, then we're duplicating it. So now we've got our four pieces, and now this we can cut, right? Three inches by a little bit under five inches. Okay, now let's look at the rest of this. Um, she's got everything grouped together. So what we want to do is we want to go over here and ungroup it. The reason why we want to ungroup it is so that when we go to the cutting mat, the, all the white pieces, we can, we can then move them together and make it more efficient and hopefully, um, you know, only cut on one piece of paper or two sheets as opposed to maybe four sheets that it wants to cut on. Okay. So every, um, everything over here that's grouped, we want to just ungroup. So now we're, let's just scroll down and ungroup all these pieces. So you can tell that they're grouped together because they, they're all like, all the pinks are together. And when you click on here, it gives you the option to ungroup it so we know that it's grouped together. So I'm just gonna quickly go down my right-hand side panel and ungroup everything. And then, we're gonna have fun and pick out something. I think I wanna make the bow a shaker, so we will work on that. I'm ungrouping everything right now. Okay, so now everything is ungrouped. What I'm gonna do to make it easy is I'm gonna grab the black background and I'm gonna move it all the way down here. This is 18 inches by 16 inches. We know it's too big. We need to slice it up, so we'll work on that in a minute. All right, here what we wanna do is, I think for, I'm just gonna move. Okay, let's see. All right, I'm gonna make this bow right here, just the two bows and the centerpiece. Um, it's still kinda small, huh? There's nothing here that big. Um, to turn it into a shaker. 
unless we want to turn the heart into a shaker. Let's make the heart a shaker. So we're going to move it aside here, okay? This bow, though, I do want it to kind of, um, I want to layer it. So let's look at all the pieces that we want to layer. I like the bow, so I'm going to grab the bow, all the pieces to the bow. I'm hitting the shift key right now, and I'm grabbing all these pieces. And I'm just going to duplicate it. And if you wanted to like really layer it and make it stand even more, you could do one more layer if you wanted to. I'm just gonna do the double layer. The other thing that I wanna layer is her, this little heart piece right here. So I'm gonna duplicate that. I want that to pop out. And because it's so small, I'm gonna do three layers. I'm gonna do the same thing with my melody here with her hair piece. I'm gonna duplicate that and I'm gonna do three of those, all right? So I think we're good with all these pieces. I'm gonna grab all of this though and just move it to the side so that it's a clean canvas for us to work with right here. All right, so we've got the heart. We wanna do, um, we wanna make this a shaker, right? So what we wanna do is on this one, I'm gonna to go to the offset and I am going to do negative 0.25 and apply. So you see how that gave me the in, the inside because we're going to have to um, we're going to have to create um, the lit, the little liner so that we can put our our shaker pieces in, okay? So I know that sounds crazy right now. So what we're going to do is before we slice, you want to grab that red piece and let's just duplicate it because this is going to be our bottom layer. We're going to duplicate this as well. This is our bottom layer of the shaker, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to slice this. So here is my piece that is going to be the border. And because I don't really want to cut this on foam, um, so what I'm going to do is let's duplicate this a few times and we're going to build a wall. So this is a wall of cardstock and we're just going to put little, um, like little flat pieces of glitter or little confetti pieces. Okay. And then our top layer is going to be an acetate. So um, our top layer is going to be this. Oops, hold on. So we're going to duplicate this one. And this is, we're going to turn this into this gray so that we know this is acetate. So the way this is going to happen is we've got our bottom layer, okay? That's going to be full. We're going to add this on top. We're going to add three layers of this. This is just cardstock. If you want to do it in foam, you can. So that's going to give us a little wall. We're going to dump uh, thin confetti in here. This acetate layer is going to be on top and it's clear, right? It's going to sit on top and um, and hold all our confetti in. Then we need one more layer. Um, let me think about that. One more layer on top so that we can actually see it. So we need another copy of this. So we're going to duplicate that. This is our topmost layer. So all our confetti is in there, our acetate's in here. This is going to go inside. And yeah. That should be pretty, right? <laughs> We're going to do our bottom layer the same way. So let's go to offset and apply. Here is our negative, right? And we're going to slice these two. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to get rid of these two items. Just like we're going to get rid of these two items up here. 
Okay, so with this, this is our bottom layer. This is our top layer, right? Our bottom layer, let's make a duplicate copy. That's gonna be our acetate layer, so I'm gonna change this to the light gray. Now, this one, we're gonna make three copies. So we are gonna stack this on top, stack this on top, stack this on top. So we've got three layers of cardstock. We're gonna put confetti in here. We're gonna put our acetate on top to hide, you know, to hold it in. Then we're gonna put this layer on top to, um, to make it look clean. All right, our acetate layer is good, right? Okay, so now we've got this little guy right here. Um, so I have a I have what, an SVG called the Grid of Squares, and so you can upload it or you can um, yeah you can get the file for free if you go to the uselesscrafter.com and subscribe to my newsletter. What happens when you subscribe to the newsletter? is you will get an email confirmation saying, yes, I wanna subscribe. When you confirm, you will get an email that says, this is the code that you're gonna use. You're gonna go back to my website and buy the file. When you go to checkout, you're gonna insert the code that was emailed to you, and then it will be free. If you don't, if you wanna skip all that and you, you can purchase the file, you can purchase the file on the uselesscrafter.com as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go into images. The reason why I like it is I'm gonna now type grid of squares. Every time I do an off the mat, I already have this, this, the grid ready to go. I was about to say squid. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move this down here, okay? So um, what you wanna do is, let's move this image, arrange, send to the, bring to the front, okay? This grid right here what you want to do is you want to go to position and you want to um, put it on whole numbers in case we have to undo or you know figure out where we made a mistake so it's easier to put this on a whole number i'm going to put it on 1 and 26 okay so then we're going to put this file down now let's look at this let's see i'm going to make this even smaller so we can see it we basically need to cut this file into four pieces, okay? So what I like about the grid is we're gonna ungroup it right now, is that um, it's flushed with each other. So it's you know easy to deal with, easy to bend all our four corners. When we go to slice this, we know that the four corners meet in the middle so we can push it all up together. And we're just trying to avoid um, the seams just being very noticeable we're doing every i mean we obviously we can't get rid of the seams um because the paper's not big enough the cricket's not big enough to cut you know this image um at, or on as one piece so um this is what we're gonna do <laughs> we're going to now slice one square at a time with the image so i'm gonna go from up here i'm gonna grab the image and the square and i'm gonna slice there are a lot of squares that we don't need because we didn't make this gigantic. So I'm just going to delete those squares. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to this corner and grab these two pieces and slice, and these two pieces and slice, and these two pieces and slice. Okay, so now I've got four pieces that I can cut on my Cricut with 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and this we can just delete, okay? This is not that complicated, um, but sometimes, you know, the grid of squares, like I said, it. I'm just implementing every tip and trick that I can to make the project seamless or appear seamless so that your eyes are drawn to just the cute characters, the pretty cardstock, and you're not gonna notice um, and it's gonna feel very, very much flawless. So, all right, this is done. I'm gonna see you on Pinterest TV, Pin TV tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific, Friday the 3rd. If you miss it, you can always catch the replay. It is also, it will be pinned to my, um, to my Pin TV board. And also this will be a, um, a project on my, on my website so that you can get all the links, the tutorials, all that good stuff. All right, see you guys in a little bit, bye.